It was a road rage shooting that turned deadly. A single gunshot fired by a passenger in a car hits and kills a 19 year old as he was driving in heavy tra traffic. This morning, the search is on for the shooter. CBS 11's Jennifer Lingren is live in Arlington with more on that shooting. Jen. Russ, a witness says there was some kind of dispute between the driver of that pickup truck and two people in a sedan. As the pickup truck driver, a 19 year old Dylan Spade, was about to exit Cooper Street here and merge onto I 20, somebody in that sedan shot him. Spade had just picked up his girlfriend last night. They were exiting Cooper to merge onto 20. When witnesses say a black sedan pulled up alongside their pickup truck, a witness told police the passenger in that sedan rolled down the window and fired a single shot, hitting Spade in the head, killing him. Police say his girlfriend was able to stop his truck before anyone else got hurt. The female passenger in the truck actually had to unbuckle her seatbelt, reach over to steer the truck. Uh, to try to avoid hitting other vehicles, and she was able to steer it off the freeway and then crashed into the National Tire and Battery sign. And police are asking people to be on the lookout for that suspect vehicle this morning. It is described as a black Mercedes or BMW sedan, maybe a 750 model, with silver rims and dark tinted windows. Witnesses say it continued on I 20 East after the shooting. Spade's girlfriend was taken to the hospital with a deep cut to her head, but she is out of the hospital this morning. Police are asking anyone who either recognizes the suspect vehicle or who may have been in this area around 5 45 or 6 last night. When the shooting happened, to please come forward. Live in Arlington, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.